Welcome uh, to the course on audio signal processing for music applications. In the last uh, programming class, we introduced Python, which is a high-level language, uh, quite powerful, and that's going to be very useful for us, for all the applications and for all the programming we will have to do. Um, in this lecture, I want to uh, talk about how to use Python to uh, process sounds, how to read sound files, process sounds, and then uh, write sound files again. So let's start by going to a terminal. And now, um, starting the interactive shell that we'll be using to program in Python, which is IPython. Um, and now we have to read a sound file. Okay, to read a sound file, we need to use one package, SciPy, that has this functionality. So what we're going to do is uh, from SciPy, and within SciPy there is a module called IO, and within that there is one specifically to handle WAF files. So from that part of this package, we're going to import the read function. Okay, so now the read function is part of uh, our system, uh, Python, and in fact if we type help and the read function, it knows about it and it tells me uh, what uh, is the input and the output. So as input, we're going to input the name of the file I want to have, and then as return, uh, what it returns is the sampling rate and an array with the actual uh, samples of the sound. Okay, so what we're going to do is have fs as a variable where to put the sampling rate, x as a variable where to put the samples of the sound, and then we're going to say read, and we're going to put a file name here. Okay, in this directory I am in, I have a file name called flute a4.wav. Okay, uh, so I will read this uh, sound file into uh, into memory. Okay, so now fs has the sampling rate, 44,100, and x is an array of integers, uh, they are 16-bit integers, including all the samples. Here, of course, it's not showing everything, it's just showing the first uh, three and the last three. Now we can start asking things about this sound. For example, if we want to know the length of the, the array, we can just type x dot size, and this uh, tells me that this uh, sound has 94,803 samples. If we want to know how many seconds that is, we can divide the, the number of samples into the sampling rate. However, these two numbers are integers, so the result is an integer. If we want to know the duration in an exact way, what we're going to do is just convert one of the numbers to a floating point number, like the fs, so that now it returns a floating point number. So this is the duration of the sound in seconds, so it's 2.149 seconds. Now we can uh, plot the sound, for example. In order to plot it, we need to import the package for plotting, matplotlib. So we will import uh, matplotlib and specifically within that the pyplot uh, module and we're going to give it as a name uh, plt. So now we can call the plot function within that uh, module and give it the um, array of samples. In order to show it, we're going to have to call the show command. Okay, and this is the sound, uh, the visualization of the waveform. In the horizontal axis, it basically has the samples I read, uh, and then on the vertical axis, it has the values of these samples being integer values. It, uh, it goes from minus 10,000 to 8,000. Okay, but this is not a nice way to visualize sound. What we want to do is to visualize them in seconds. So the time axis should be in seconds. How do we do that? 
Okay? So what we're going to do is uh, we need to uh, get some arrays and for doing that we need to import another package which is the numpy um, so import numpy as np and now we can use some uh, useful functions from numpy specifically we can create a time axis so we define a time axis t that uses a function of numpy called a range uh, and uh, a range what it does is basically creates an array uh, of the length that uh, I put in as input going from 0 to that value and then if I divide by the sampling rate this will create basically an array of uh, seconds of the uh, the size of the sound but in seconds okay so that I have t and now if I plot uh, the array t with respect to x now I have and uh, then of course I have to show it I have a much nicer display because on the horizontal axis I have time in seconds so I can go from 0 to 2 point some and this is the duration in seconds uh, within that uh, this uh, this figure uh, we can zoom into into it and uh, do quite a few things for example uh, it has this uh, option which is zoom or rectangle so we can select a region of this and we can see um, uh, the oscillation of the sound in fact if we do it a little bit more we're going to see it uh, an even more we will see the individual periods the oscillation of uh, of the sound okay so that's quite good we don't have to actually call the function with these specific numbers so within the figure uh, we can already navigate uh, through uh, this uh, sound okay. but also we can select samples with uh, with uh, Python commands by choosing just the samples from a given array so for example if we want to have another array that is just one fragment of our input array so we can say okay take just samples for example from 44,100 so that means from second one to let's say uh, 45,100 so this is going to be uh, 1,000 files uh, 1,000 samples uh, that are going to be stored in Y and now of course we can uh, just if we uh, plot this Y it will just show the uh, these 1,000 samples okay now we can start doing operations for example on this uh, new array and uh, for example we can just ask what is the the maximum of these arrays so there is this function called max from uh, numpy that if we give it uh, array uh, y it gives us what is the maximum value however of course we know that sound uh, sort of oscillates around zero so it has positive and negative values so in fact instead of doing that what it makes more sense is to just take the absolute value of y so that it considers also the negative values as, as uh, values to be considered so if we now type the maximum of the absolute value of y in, it gives us a different number which basically that means that this was a negative value that uh, of course was higher in terms of absolute value than the positive values and we can do things like sum all the samples of an array okay so uh, this uh, is the sum of all of them of course now it's negative because again it has some positive and negative if we do the absolute value it will be a completely different value okay now that uh, we know how to process sounds now what uh, typical thing we will want to do is to write the result or write this new sound into a file 
So we need to uh, uh, get uh, a function to write some file. So for again from SciPy. Uh, um, so from SciPy.io.wav file, we are going to import the write function. Okay, and the write function basically uh, accepts as input. Uh, uh, values, a name of a file to write, then we need to give it the sampling rate, which is the same as the input, so fs, and now we can just put an array of numbers, so for example this new y uh, array, okay, and that's it. Uh, we have created a sound file, and if we type ls, it's going to be uh, in test.wav file. And from within IPython, we can uh, play these uh, sound files by calling Unix or uh, terminal uh, level um, uh, programs or functions. So specifically, if we put the, the exclamation uh, mark, and we, uh, there is this uh, function in Unix, this program called play, and so if we this calls the the Unix uh, program play, and we can give it any uh, file that uh, is in this directory. So if we put the flute a4.wav, okay, it's playing uh, this uh, flute sound, and is at the same time is giving me some uh, information about uh, this uh, sound file. Okay, so that's uh, all I wanted to say. Uh, so basically, um, we have been uh, talking about reading and writing uh, sound files, and, um, and there is this uh, package uh, WAV file within SciPy that allows us to do that. And uh, there is uh, packages that allow us uh, to process and to manipulate these uh, sounds. So with matplotlib we can plot sounds, uh, fragments of sounds, and with numpy there is a whole bunch of functions that allows us to uh, process uh, these sounds. And that's all uh, for uh, this class. So we have uh, already introduced Python and now we have introduced uh, some uh, basic uh, functions to to read write uh, sound files and uh, hopefully with that we can start doing some interesting things but of course we have to learn much more so I will see you next class thank you <laughs>